Workshop, a series where we provide tips to help you get the most out of your broadcast. This edition will focus on one of the tools that can enhance your production in a variety of ways, Chroma Key. Chroma Key is a technique commonly used to place an object in the foreground into a new background. The most common use of Chroma Key is to immerse your camera source into a game capture source. There are some prerequisites for this. You will need to have a backdrop that is a solid color behind you. Make sure this backdrop is as smooth and well lit as possible. Also, please refrain from wearing clothing that is similar to you as a background color. Finally, make sure to turn off an auto adjustment of focus, exposure, white balance, and gain on your camera source. Once you have your equipment set up, now it is time to set up chroma key and X split. Add a game to a scene and then add your camera source. Make sure your camera is on a higher layer than the game by checking the source list. Right-click on your camera source and click on the color tab. Click this option to activate chroma key. Once the chroma key is active, you can use the sliders below to tweak the chroma key settings to your liking. If you require even more options for adjusting chroma key, you can enable legacy mode. Once your adjustments are set up, simply click out of the chroma key window. One of the often overlooked features of XSplit Broadcaster is the ability to apply Chroma Key to a variety of sources. One of the more popular trends on Twitch is notifications that appear on stream whenever someone follows, donates, or subscribes to a channel. Simply capture the application where the notification is present and then activate Chroma Key by right-clicking on the screen region source and the source list. The good part about using Chroma Key on other sources like screen regions, videos or images is that you don't usually have to worry about things like lighting or a smooth backdrop. Well, that about wraps it up for this Chroma Key tutorial. As with the most tools, it is best to take what you've learned and experiment. If you have any interesting uses of Chroma Key, we'd love to hear about it in the comments.